Hey, Aiden. Hey, Raina. Hey, Dragonite. Hey Ambrose, hey Master Shadow. Hey Murdoch. It's fine.
Hello, enemies. I'm trying to decipher whether or not you're a new name or if I've seen you before, because I recognize the name. Hello, adversary. Didn't they follow the other day? Did they? No? There's someone called the Art Melon that followed like five days ago. Hello, Rock Doring. I've been following for some time, that's fair. Maybe that, that is why I recognize the name. Are you excited for next week? What's happening next week, Brian? Does new Elizabeth still drink bleach? Um, let me answer that in the best way I can. I'll just answer that in the best way I can. Yeah, but it seems to be the only, it's, uh, the mobile port, right? Where they have an umbrella? Have they confirmed that it's gonna be just in the game in total? Cause, like, I'm hyped. I agree. Um, they also added Annie to the fucking game, which I was also pretty fucking hyped for. Um. But, like, I'm pretty sure they just confirmed that for m mobile. Phone first and main game. Oh, okay. I 
I like that they're adding new characters to Skullgirls. Because there's been like a lot of characters that I've been looking at and thinking, oh, like, this could be cool if they entered the game. Friendly reminder that I have used both Umbrella and Annie in commentaries as avatars before. <laughs> you know, as well as Peacock. So, go ahead and guess what my main three are going to be when, <laughs> when they come out. Do I think a Skullgirls animated series could work? Oh, absolutely. abso fucking lutely I love Sk uh, Skullgirls. Such a shame that I'm bad at it. I'm really, really bad at Skullgirls. <laughs> but, I really enjoy playing it. Oh, Squiggly is a good bean. Do I not have, like, very many poses for Willow at all? Does Willow just, like, stand in one spot? Fucking, I'm trying to look for anything I can to go off of. Oh, hello, Jaceva. Uh, have fun at the, the shop. She just stands. She has like no other poses. <laughs> I'm looking through as much as I can and she just stands there menacingly. Wow, I didn't even realize I did that. <laughs> She's got no poses. She's got no poses to pull from. <coughs> A 
Okay, so she's got a couple to pull from with, uh, from, from the video I did on Campbell. But, like, not a lot. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Willow just doesn't have very much going for her, huh? I just try to look for things to pull from. And there's not really much to pull from from Willow. <laughs> she kind of just stands there awkwardly with her hands at her side, typically. That's what I've been doing with all the others, is I've just been looking for things to pull from. And if I don't have anything to pull f from, well, then I'll make stuff. But I was looking primarily from, for something to pull from. Just to see if I had anything at all that I can call back to. Yeah, Willow was the one that made Sugar's clothing. You can see it in, uh, in Willow's, um, Doodle a Day picture. So. Yeetus. Oh, hey, Nuzzy. Yote! What are you doing? Same thing I've been doing for, um, for the past month. I don't understand you. In fairness, it is almost done. The journey is almost finished. Ugh. <sighs> I have been doing more research. I found something interesting for the video that I'm going to keep to myself. Also, weirdly obsessed with 100%ing Night in the Woods. Mm -hmm. Well, I stopped I still Greg's route. Craig's but route is very good. Greg, good. Greg, good boy. Very good boy. I want to see. I, ge I genuinely didn't know that I was that close to finishing that game. I thought it was going to be longer, but no. Not that I'm complaining. I mean, it did take you how long to finish? Uh, I don't know. Let me check. Where is my game? Where is it? Let me see. Uh, you took me 14 hours. Ago, right? 
Well, and completely, it was 14 hours. Yeah. So that's, it's not like it's a necessarily short game. Oh no, I just, I didn't... It'd been so long that I touched it, I didn't know how far I was. Because it didn't feel... I, how, do, how do I explain this? Night in the Woods is very kind of episodic in a way in where there's no you kind of lose track of time playing it and i don't mean like real life time i mean in-game time so like all of the events i know that they're not random because it's like to purpose the story but they feel random because they're supposed to feel like in some essence like a natural life event so like, my rhythm was really thrown off. As I've, I've never played anything like it. Maybe you could, uh, play through Life is Strange and have us riff over it, cause, uh... Mmm, very big riff material. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> man, I've seen I've seen snippets of it because every time I watched a let's play from a, a, a particular YouTuber that I really like, I would fall asleep. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. I usually play videos when I'm trying to sleep. But <sighs> I mean. I, uh, I watched through, uh, uh, not a Let's Play, uh, well, it might as well have been, it was a speedrun. Uh, <laughs> watched the speedrun of Life is Strange, and I'll fully admit, there are things about it that I do like. The time travel. But, <laughs> yeah, it's like, but, it's a time travel plot. And I'm saying this as somebody who loves Doctor Who. <laughs> but like also I'm not a big fan of Chloe I think she's kind of a dick yeah no. as I said there are things out of it that I like There, hell I'll even fully admit uh, the fact that they even explain why they can't just go back in time to fix all the problems or better yet the fact that they time travel Spoiler alert for those interested, but the time travel aspect is what causes the conflict. Yeah, I will say as somebody who's who's seen the game. Keep in mind this is from like a face value kind of thing. Um it just it feels like everything kind of amounts to nothing. That's kind of the point. And, well, yeah. In that, in that sense, I kind of respect it for that. But also, there's a lot that you could definitely joke about. Yeah, I also understand from a certain perspective that the fact that it amounts to nothing is, is kind of the tragedy about it that they're trying to show. But it's also a criticism that I've seen particularly with um, uh, Dragon Quest. I don't want to spoil it, but it has a similar thing to it, like a similar issue. I don't know how to explain it without spoiling it, so I'm not going to go into it. But like, basically... I can see where people are coming from when it comes to those criticisms. At the same time, you technically don't have to do it. <laughs> it's kind of a side thing, actually. Post-game type of thing. So, technically you don't have to. <laughs> you really only have to do it if you want to, like, 100% the game.
Also, I feel somewhat sad because I feel like I was lied to. Because <laughs> I... <laughs> I... If... I I don't if I don't I don't know if like the person had mistyped it or I misread it, but I I was led to believe that the voice actress for Millie was Vibsy herself. No, the person's name is just Vivian. Or the the actress's name is Vivian. Again, I don't know if they mistyped it or if I misread it, but I thought they put Vibsy and not Vivian. Also, didn't know that the OG voice actress for Millie also voices Luna. It's so funny going on Twitter on my computer, seeing everybody do crop tests, and then none of it works. Because PC is mean. <laughs> it's my five-month sub-anniversary. Who voiced Cowboy, Nezzy? Uh, the same dude who plays the guy in... Death Stranding. The ultimate walking simulator. I thought there was more to it than that. I it was more oh no, there it is! That. It's just that 80% of it is that. <laughs> mm. So the whole point that Kojima wanted to make was that, um, yeah, Norman Reedus, uh, the whole point that he wanted to make was the, the grueling task of delivery service and how they are, like, the backbones of society, but they get treated like shit. And I, I, I get it. Still mostly walking. <laughs> walking? Walking. Where are you walking to? We're talking about Death Stranding. Oh. So, like uh... Walking to somewhere. No. If I'm walking, man, I'm slow as shit right now, then. Walking here. Walking here! <laughs> you remember- what movie is that from? Where the guy like hits the car and goes like, I'm walking here. Yeah, I want to say Goodfellas. Because I saw something about that scene where. Has he? Hello? Uh oh. Doing their shit. Um, filming that scene. <laughs> and some motherfucker like actually hit him. So he just reacted, he hit the car, and said, I'm walking here! And then they just continue. Mm -hmm. Ah, improv scenes. Ah. Oh, I love improv. <laughs> There's so many good improv scenes, most of them with Robin Williams. Yo, shoutouts to, uh, I think it was... Was it Wolf of Wall Street? I want to say? Why is it that when I appeared... I... Is it is it Wolf of I... Wall Street or Django Unchained or some shit? I don't remember, but there was a movie that... It was, um... Leonardo DiCaprio was in. Where he had, like, he had to handle glass. That's Django character... Unchained. Okay. I was just trying to remember which one it was, because it was one of those... Yeah, I, those I remember layers. that. He fucking... He traumatized that poor girl! <laughs> she was, like, legit traumatized! And he had to get his hands sewn up. 
Because he fucking shattered it on some glass when he broke that glass, which was not part of the fucking bit. And he just went with it. <laughs> but, uh... I think one of my one of the favorites that I found out is the one about Loki. So you remember how in Avengers he, he like, he's having his speech and, and the Hulk just grabs him and starts tossing him around. Yeah. So it turns out uh, the guy I can't remember his fucking name. I'm sorry. I'm not good. I don't. Re I'm not good at. Um, the remembering actor names <laughs> but he had a rope tied around his ankle to like flick him out so that he like falls in that shot and he said just do it whenever <laughs> so he's in the middle of his speech not knowing when they're going to pull the rope <laughs> <laughs> so he went through all that <laughs> Not knowing when they were gonna fucking do it. So, um, by the way, the glass shattering scene. Uh, there's a scene in Django where Leonardo DiCaprio, I think he's a slave owner? I don't remember. Because I only remember seeing the clip. But, uh, he, he's like giving a toast or something. And... I don't remember what he was supposed to do, but he was basically just supposed to get angry. But he accidentally broke the glass when he was putting it down because he put it down too fast or something like yeah. that. And it fucking cut the shit out of his hand. And so he just continued with the scene and just went all out. And like he walks up to one of the maids and rubs his hand on her face. And that's like his real blood. Okay, but yeah, no, the glass. It is Django yeah. Unchained. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because Murdoch was questioning. It's like I don't remember glass shattering in Django, so I, I went to go uh, check. It is. Oh no, I checked too. Because the thing is, is that Leonardo DiCaprio has like a very specific look in that movie. It's it's one of the few movies I remember seeing him with like a full ass beard. Okay. Why is it that when I entered the fucking stream, like, five people are like, oh shit, it's Donnie. Like, what the fuck? Because half the time we expect you to be high. But also, yes, Rockdaling, the fucking helmet kick from The Hobbit. Also, that wasn't The Hobbit, that was Lord of the Rings. Do you know about that one? I do um, not. Probably not. I've probably so... seen it if it comes from Lord of the Rings, because I... So how there's like idiot? a scene. I was gonna hmm? say, how does that or if it's um if it's from Lord of the Rings and I probably have seen it and just don't remember. Because I was that idiot that watched the entire trilogy in one sitting. Oh god. <laughs> so this was an improv scene too. There's two improv scenes that I'm aware of, but they're kind of low-key off screen and I love them to bits. Um, so, <laughs> the first one, the helmet thing, uh, was that, so there's, it's like the scene where Aragorn comes up and the, uh, he finds like the, the remains of the army, he, like, everyone's dead, um, and Peter Jackson was like, okay, you gotta like, give me emotion, you're, you're distraught, you're, you are destroyed at the fact that your army is in shambles. And he does it by kicking a helmet. And you gotta keep in mind, it's a real fucking helmet. It's real metal. And he kicks it to hit it like a... to. And he what Peter Jackson wanted to do is he wanted the helmet to, like, go by the camera. So he, want, he needed to aim it in this very particular way. So he needed to focus on aiming the helmet and also acting like he just lost everything. So they did the take so many times and because they did it so many times on the final take which is the take that ended up in the movie he fucking broke his toe so he broke his toe on the kick and the helmet landed by the camera and you see him fall over in just like 
almost start to cry and Peter was like, oh, that's great. That's exactly what we're looking for. And he's like, I fucking broke my toe. <laughs> but yeah, there was also, there was so many injuries on Lord of the Rings. Uh, Orlando Bloom broke his ribs because he fell off of his horse. Um... The there's the the thing that happened to the guy that played Samwise where because they're not wearing shoes, the Hobbit characters they're not wearing shoes. They're wearing like this this big prosthetic to to make the illusion to, to have like the big feet like they're supposed to have in the lore. Um, so they have no shoes on for the entirety of the every every clip that they're doing. And he, he goes, he's having that scene where he's chasing after Frodo to get to the boat. And yes, it was an actual scream of pain. He was genuinely in fucking pain. Because the minute that he hit the helmet on that scene, his foot fucking broke. But um, the scene where Samwise is chasing after Frodo to get into the, to the boat with him, uh, they weren't aware there was broken glass in the lake. So he stepped on it. And it went through the prosthetic. So yeah, he got fucked too. <laughs> Who's the actor for Aragorn? Who's the actor for Aragorn? I don't know. Vigo Peter v Vigo. Vigo? Vigo. Vigo Mortensen. Um My favorite my favorite scene uh from Lord of the Rings that I can never stop thinking about is uh I don't remember who which one it was. It was either it was either Merry or Pippin. I don't remember which one it was. But you know how Sam gets married at the end of Lord of the Rings, right? Mm hmm So the actor for Sam's kids were running around the 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 uh, the um the place. They were they were visiting him. And he was really uncomfortable kissing the actress because he didn't want his kids to because they were very small he didn't want his kids to see him kissing another woman for them to get like the wrong idea so they couldn't get like the right shot of them kissing where it looked natural and they were like they looked happy and all that because he was he was really uncomfortable he didn't want to like his kids to see him doing that um so <laughs> They had a thing where it's like, okay, what if we grab some of his friends and we put them in the quote-unquote audience so that he has some familiar faces to look at while he's doing it, so he, he's a bit more comfortable. And so, I don't remember who it was. It was either Merry or Pippin. I don't remember which one it was. I'm gonna go with Pippin. Um, the actor for Pippin and Vigo, who is the actor for Aragorn, came up in, uh, into the, the quote-unquote audience of the wedding to kind of just stand there so that they had a friendly face. And <laughs> they do the kiss and she throws the bouquet and he catches it. And he turns to Vigo to like make a joke or something because he's like, I caught the bouquet, haha. And he fucking kisses him. Vigo full on kisses him he even made a comment about how he felt some tongue Ooh. it was a real kiss <laughs> and then Sam and the other lady are like laughing cause they're seeing that and that's the take that they used in the movie so every time I watch that scene all I can think is Aragorn's fucking making out with Pippin right now <laughs> I cannot watch that scene Without thinking about it now. <laughs> I can't do it. That's wonderful. <laughs> oh, by the way, Vigo, he is fucking hilarious. One of the other funny things that happened behind the scenes. So they didn't have enough people to play in the army. So they had to get a bunch of women to like wear beards and stuff. They had to, like, uh, and wearing costumes so that they looked like men because they were trained in horse riding and they didn't have enough people. <laughs> and there's, like, a whole fucking behind the scenes of Vigo going, like, I, I really like them. You know, there was something about them that I found attractive. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> it's, it's. I love him. I love him so much. 
I love him. I love him so much. They, oh, by the way, there was a whole thing where Vigo was basically said to like have tried to kiss everybody on set <laughs> at least once. <laughs> yes. In costume. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. He knew. <laughs> he knew what he was doing. I think one of my other favorite pieces of trivia is the fact that Sean Bean hated being in helicopters. And there was like one shot where they had to go on top of a mountain to do it because it was like a bunch of snow. And so all of them would climb into a helicopter and they would ride up. Sean Bean fucking hated helicopters so much that he would climb the mountain in costume to get to the set. So there's like a shot of them in the helicopter just seeing this tiny fucking man climbing the mountain to get to the shot! You know what? Respect. It's actually kind of badass. So he would like, he would get in the costume, they would do all the makeup stuff, and then, and then he would climb the fucking mountain. I respect. It's, I, I can't help but like kind of respect it. I can't help but kind of respect that. He refused. He refused to get on that fucking helicopter. <laughs> Uh, other pieces of weird trivia that I know is that uh, Daniel Radcliffe in the Harry Potter movies apparently broke a fuck ton of wands. Yeah, because he kept that. using them as drumsticks. Yeah. <laughs> so they had to. I she, you know, they had to like take it away from him, and they would only give it to him when he was on set doing a scene <laughs> they would not let him have it alone because he kept fucking breaking them because he kept trying to use it as a jump as a as drumstick yep and you know what if that is not the biggest mood in harry potter <laughs> i will always say daniel radcliffe was perfect casting for harry <laughs> <laughs> I do. Ha I, I I've brought this up in streams before, but sometimes I do kind of wonder if um if uh them you know acting from such a, an early age of the same characters have kind of like morphed them sorta into those characters. I can't help but sometimes wonder that. I wouldn't be surprised. Someone made a really funny joke that um that because all of the actors were asked what would you bring with you on a, a on an island if you were on an abandoned island and <sighs> emma watson said a good book <laughs> i think the actor for ron said um no it was the actor for uh one of the twins said <laughs> um a book on how to build a raft. <laughs> I mean, yeah. There was also that one thing where uh, the twins, the twins, funnily enough, are very much like their characters. Uh, there was they were they were in an interview and and the lady was like, uh, "Did you did you meet at the? Uh, are you real twins?" And they were like, "Oh yeah, we met at the set. We don't know each other." <laughs> Or something along those lines. God I don't know it. what it was. <laughs> you know what an it. animal I really like? I really what? like toucans. Look at them with them big old beaks. By the way, shout out to Rupert Grint, dude who played Ron Weasley. He's uh, a great he guy. Yeah, no, shout out to him though, because you know what he did? Uh, after the movies were done? Dude got himself an ice cream truck. Yeah, and he gives- he gives ice cream for free to kids. Yeah. It's- it's really because, sweet. Because he can't, um, he- he can't sell it, right? Because he doesn't- he doesn't have a permit to- to sell- uh, to- to sell ice cream. So he just gives it away. Also, I found it. I found it. Rupert Grant was a asked... fucking homie. 
<laughs> yeah. I found it though. It says, um, if you became stranded on a desert island and could only have one book with you, which book would you would it be? Uh Daniel Radcliffe said The Old Man in the Sea. Uh I think that's the actor for Neville Longbottom. Harry Potter. Uh <laughs> Emma Watson said Chili Cooper or the Bible. The actress for Ginny said The Great Gatsby, and then one of the twins, I don't know which one it is, said How to Build a Raft. <laughs> That's what it was. Mine... I wonder what my answer would be. Mine would probably be, be, be more chill. Mine would be my fairy tale book. I don't remember what it was called, but it's a very weird fairy tale book. Um... Uh, <clears throat> have you read Be More Chill? Be More Chill is a book? Yeah, it started off as a book, and then it became a musical. I did not know that. Yeah, it started off as a book, and the books... Okay, the book and the musical are both quite good, but the thing about the book is that, like, and the musical is that they tell a similar... They have a similar setup, but the way they tell the story is different. Man, all but, I know is that there was, like, a weird resurgence of musicals. Which, as a musical lover, I'm not complaining about. It's just strange that it happened. And, um... How the story works in both versions of the story... Um... Works specifically in the context of... Their stories, if that makes sense. Like... Uh... Like, the main difference is that the Squip is a villain in the musical, but in the book, he's just- it's- the Squip is just a, um, a flawed robot, essentially. Mm. Like, with good intentions. But the intentions aren't so good in the, uh, musical. Speaking, well, uh, speaking uh, of of musicals and stuff, one of these days I'm just gonna go the fuck off about um about jagged little pill, and you guys are just gonna have to kind of deal with it <laughs> because I I don't like that musical at all. Um. So uh for <laughs> what? Go oh, good. Okay, so, Jagged Little Pill was a, a an album by uh, Alanis Morissette released in 1995. Uh, for those who do not know who Alanis Morissette is, because, <laughs> um, unless you grew up with a lot of 90s music, uh, how could you? So, um, Alanis Morissette is a, uh, an alt-rock singer so uh so yeah you know she released a a album in 1995 called jagged little pill and there's a lot of there's a lot of uh of i guess nods or references to um alanis being cheated on within the album there's there's a lot of things where it's like oh you know her cheating husband you know went off with another another woman and she's you know stung by that she's hurt by that there's a lot of themes of that in the album mind you it's not like uh it's not like the you know the wall where it's a uh, a whole story album it, it, it's not like trying to tell a story but there are there are a, a lot of little things here and there that kind of like you know return to these very same themes so Turning that into a Broadway musical, not the worst idea on paper. Making it into a Broadway musical about high schoolers, that's where we start having problems. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because when you when you uh when you make a, 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 a album that talks a lot about having a cheating husband turned into a thing about high school drama, it kind of... 
um, dilutes a lot of, of the... Yeah, it kind of dilutes it. A lot. Hmm. And, um... That's just the beginning of the problems. <laughs> uh, I actually made a, a thread about it. When I was listening to the, the Broadway version. Let me find it real quick. Okay. <laughs> so, um, <coughs> the first couple songs... The first couple songs on Jagged Little Pill, the Broadway musical, uh, weren't terrible. Like, uh, it starts us off on... Where is it? Okay. It starts us off on an overture, you know, something that a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of Broadway musicals do. You know, it's just kind of like a, a, a beginning song to kind of introduce you and kind of ease you into what you'll be listening to. Uh, Right Through You is fine, although it is a little bit weird that you're going to take a song that's like... Yeah, you're gonna take a song that's like two minutes, almost three minutes, and you're gonna cut it down to 53 seconds? That's a little bit weird. Jesus! That's, you know, you're gonna just cut out, like, the entire song, but you're gonna leave it in. I don't understand the purpose to it, but fine, you know, if that's what you wanna do. It, it doesn't, like, it's not necessarily ruining it, it's just kind of a weird choice that I... I think is a little out there, but fine. Um, all I really want is fine. Um, hand in my pocket actually sounds like it would belong in a high school setting with the way that they kind of like tweaked it a bit. That's fine. Um, uh, Smiling is not on Jagged Little Pill album. It was actually a song that was made specifically for, um, the Broadway musical. So that's fine. <laughs> and then we get to ironic. Ironic is when I started noticing problems. Because the rendition of ironic in the Broadway musical makes me so irrationally angry. Um, the idea behind ironic as a song is, uh... So, it's not... It's not, like, everything that Alanis Morissette talks about is not ironic in a traditional sense. It's, um... I'm trying to remember. It's not... It's not dramatic irony? I'm trying to remember... What type of ironic it is. Because it, it is a type of ironic that is not the typical. Okay, no, it is dramatic irony. Okay. Um, so yeah, ironic plays a lot into into a lot of, uh, of dramatic irony. You know, uh, an old man turned 98, he won the lottery and died the next day. Uh, black fly in your Chardonnay, it's death row pardon two minutes too late. You know, it, it, it plays into not full irony. But, Jagged Little Pill, the Broadway musical, didn't catch on to that, apparently. Because the entire thing makes fun of the fact that none of the verses are ironic. You're completely, like, just shrugging off the point of the song because it's funny, I guess. This is when they active. This is the the first song where they actively ruined everything. <sighs> then you get to so unsexy. Whatever. There was a couple of things I didn't like about it, but I can't recall everything. Perfect <laughs> was. Perfect had some issues too. I remember going on a long tirade about it. Uh, I think it was the f fact that... Oh, no, actually, no. Perfect was actually the one song on the album that wasn't problem. Because Perfect... <laughs> uh, Perfect t uh, is a song that that's from, like, a, the perspective of a, uh, of a parent that wants to, like, vicariously live through their child. 
And so putting that in a high school setting, like, just made sense. Um. So yeah, uh, so pure was just kind of nothing. It just felt, um, padded. Uh, that I would be good also had a couple small things in it that bothered me. Uh, but then we get to wake up. Now, <sighs> mm, okay. So, Wake Up is a song, it was one of the songs that I alluded to earlier that, that talks about, like, uh, you know, the, the wife being cheated on. Apparently, the husband was also incredibly uh, abusive. So, Wake Up is from the perspective of the abuse victim talking to the, the husband um, and kind of just, <clears throat> like, angrily you know, yelling at him for being kind of a dick. Um. <sighs> and so the chorus, uh, the chorus is, is particularly one of the parts that I want to point out. Because the chorus goes, but it's easy not to, so much easier not to, and what goes around never comes around to you. How do you think they fucked this up? If you mm. guessed, if you guessed, uh, have it come from the abuse or the abuser, uh, congrats. You know how Jagged Little Pill, the Broadway musical, works. <laughs> Oof. Yes, because the cheater should be singing. It's so much easier not to, and what goes around never comes around to you. The cheater should be singing that. Okay. <laughs> and then there's like a, just a bunch of small things where they just completely dilute uh, all sorts of, you know, they they dilute the themes throughout the entire thing, that should go without saying. A lot of the core messages in these songs get kind of like overshadowed by the fact that they wanted to keep it kind of PG when this is by no means a PG album. Anyway, then they get to You Oughta Know. The, uh, the big single from the Jagged Little Pill album from 1995. And, um, credit where it's due, they didn't change any of the lyrics in You Oughta Know. But also, they didn't change any of the lyrics from You Oughta Know for high schoolers. For those who don't know why that's a problem, <laughs> allow me to go through You Oughta Know's lyrics. Alright. Uh, so verse 1 goes, I want you to know that I'm happy for you. I wish nothing but the best for you both. An older version of me, is she perverted like me, would she go down on you in a theater? Does she speak eloquently, and would she have your baby? I'm sure she'd make a really excellent mother. Verse 2. You seem very well. Things look peaceful. I'm not quite as well. I thought you should know. Did you forget about me, Mr. Duplicity? I hate to bug you in the middle of dinner. It was a slap in the face how quickly I was replaced, and are you thinking of me when you fuck her? These are high schoolers? Ooh! These are high schoolers singing this. They are supposed to be in high school. They... They didn't change anything from the best song on the album, but they also didn't change anything from the best song on the album for high schoolers. Wait, what were they singing about? Fucking. I mean, it's okay, high no, school. Let me, let me, let me go through the verse again. So, so, You Oughta Know is a song about a, uh, uh, a woman confronting her husband, uh, of cheating on her. Mm -hmm. So, the, um, the lyrics goes, I want you to know that I'm happy for you. I wish nothing but the best for you both. An older version of me, is she perverted like me? Would she go down on you in a theater? Does she speak eloquently? And would she have your baby? I'm sure she'd make a really excellent mother. 
Verse 2 goes, You seem very well, things look peaceful. I'm not quite as well I thought you should know. Did you forget about me, Mr. Duplicity? I'd hate to bug you in the middle of dinner. It was a slap in the face how quickly I was replaced, and are you thinking of me when you fuck her? Hmm. It's like... <laughs> I get... Like, teenage sex is a thing. But also... So that's a bit- that's too far. <laughs> yeah. It's like, but also... Like... <laughs> It's kind of like how Heather's is supposed to be commentary on, like, a lot of different things. And there is a song where she, um, she basically, something along the lines of she thinks that she's going to get killed by the Heather's, so she goes and fucks, like, the guy of that before that happens. And it, what was it called again? Fuck. I don't remember what the song was called. But that is a bit too explicit <laughs> like mm -hmm. i've been to high school i went to high school i went to high school for three years because japanese schools are weird and they're they're not on the they're not quite on the same like years as american schools are so when i went out when i got taken out of my junior high school uh my japanese junior high school i went into the sophomore year of my high school um <laughs> like I know that, that that teenagers can be incredibly explicit. I'm fully aware of that. I have I have many stories of the type of shit that went down at my school. My dad has many stories of the type of shit that went down when he was a teenager too. But maybe that's a little too far, especially considering the fact that the original context was that everybody involved was an adult. What country is the musical from? Well, the original album, uh, Alanis Morissette is Canadian. Um, but the Broadway, uh, the, the Broadway adaptation was directed by someone from New York. Um, and where does it take place? Um. Can't find it. Harvard? Is it supposed to take place at Harvard? That doesn't sound right because it, it mentions a high school. That's. Now, another thing that I'm confused about. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know, you want me to look it up? <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm looking at the plot summary, and apparently it says that it, 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 it's, it takes place at Harvard. But it's like... They mention... It, it, it kind of, like, implies that it's high school. Not helped by the fact that everything, as I said, was also very diluted for, for like, a high school kind of background. And they kind of imply that it's in high school throughout, like, what I, what I heard. So, I'm very confused. Either... <laughs> either there's some, like, horrible writing failures here, or... Wikipedia summary is wrong. Apparently there is a Harvard High School. Is there? Yeah. Well, where does that- where is that at, then? Because that will answer, uh, uh Rhinos. I don't- don't quite know. It's kind of weird. It's, a. Uh, it's saying that there is a Harvard High School, but when I click on it, the page won't load. And then it also says, um, summer programs for high school students. But there is one link that says Harvard High School, and then there's a Facebook page for it. Um, yeah, there's a Harvard High School. But 
It doesn't say where? It's in Harvard, Illinois. Okay, so it's in Illinois then, I guess. Yeah, I, I did not know this. There is apparently a Harvard High School. I mean, Harvard apparently I... is a place. Point is... Yeah, Harvard High School in in Harvard High School in Harvard, Illinois. Point is, there's a point is I don't like Jagged Little Pill, the high, the, the Broadway musical. <laughs> I I think it's fucking trash. Um, listening to that album. You've heard? Uh, I would say yeah. Who enters? Me. Obvi. Yeah. Hi. Huh? How's it going? I am sober, surprisingly. Damn, me too. Because I woke I mean, up. I mean, Rhino. Even if it wasn't in America, it would be a huge red flag. Because it was directed by someone from New York. Created from an uh from an album by a Canadian. Even if it didn't take place in America, I'd I'd still say that's a red flag. Red flag by Billy Talent. Red flag. I don't know. Wait, anyway, Donnie, perchance perchance have you already had it got me to this morning? Nope. He just okay. said he's sober. Oh, did he just say that? I didn't hear him. I mean, I might end up seeing a movie soon, so... I don't think I can. Mm. I might see Raya and the Last Dragon today, but I'm not sure. Because my Nana hasn't responded to my brother's calls. Uh, by the way, the only reason I went out of my way to to listen to the Jagged Little Bill uh, Broadway thing was because it fucking it won uh, a Grammy for Best Musical Theater Album. So, like, that was when I first heard that there was a Jagged Little Bill Broadway musical. So I went out of my way to listen to it. And the more that I listened to it, the less I liked it. like, what's the point? What is the point of making an album into a, uh, a Broadway musical when you're just gonna dilute everything about it? Avi. Mm -hmm. I have a ferret on my team. Radical. In Pokemon Y. Mm. And also Pokemon Coliseum. I... Lately I've been live streaming that game. And... I made three hours of progress on it yesterday. Nice. Either that or the day before. Um... I think the day before, actually. We, um... <clears throat> we played Dogapon Kingdom. Played three and a half hours of Dokapon Kingdom. And, uh. I am not the Dokapon boy. I was the Dokapon boy for three hours and 25 minutes. And then Thomas managed to get the castle. And now he is the Dokapon boy. Oh, Nuzzy. Mm-hmm. I've been meaning to ask you... something. Um... Mm -hmm. Where is the ROM... for, uh... the 3DS emulator? Like, where can I download the games? Where can you download games on your Nintendo PC? I've been using Zippertoe and... 
ROMs forever. They're like the least sketchy. If you also, could send me a link. Citra. <clears throat> yes, it's Citra. I have- I, I- I've downloaded Citra! I just haven't found... the games that, themselves. Just be careful on the sites, as always. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's really fucking hard to find... anything... for... the, um... 3DS. Wow. <clears throat> I looked what? at Twitter. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. oh good. Which is always the best way to start. Any sentence. Mm hmm Apparently, uh, Billy Crystal is trending because he said that comedy is becoming a minefield. Mind you, this wasn't- this didn't, like, proceed like a, a rant about cancel culture or anything like that. He just said it's harder to to, to get into comedy. And yeah, everyone it's is taking harder to get into any job. And now everyone's bringing up, you know, the fact that Billy Crystal wants to blackface. Uh they're bringing up that Billy Crystal is like some sort of, you know, uh can or anti PC like or anti political correctness kind of like boomer, um, you know he basically said it's just harder to get into comedy and people are trying to cancel him for it. I mean, he's kind of both right and wrong. Fuck. You know what's nice about Pokemon X and Y? Specifically X and Y? That they're cool. That you can customize your character. Well, that's part of it. But, um... I like how you have, like, both a real name and a nickname. And... Oh, so, I just made my real name Donnie, and I made my nickname Adriana. And it's oddly validating. Uh, by the way... Fuck. God damn it. There we go. Um... I'm trying to remember what I was gonna say. Um... Resident. The thing is, is that... When it comes to the rant of, like, comedy being more sensitive, is that, uh... I sent you the article, or someone talking about the article. Oh, okay. Well, Mind you, I can't exactly read the article right now, but apparently, according to that tweet, it was very benign overall. Do you want me to read it? Um, if you want to. Uh, I'll probably wind up reading <laughs> it after if you don't. No, I mean, like, do you want me to read it out loud? Again, it's up to you. If you don't, right. I'll probably read it once I'm done with the stream. It's very benign and accurate. Satan are insane. He doesn't go on some political rant about cancel culture. He literally just says he thinks it's hard as there's my word. Okay. The New York Post. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> no. no. I fucking. Oh, God. I hate the fucking New York Post. But all right, let's go. Billy Crystal doesn't sound too impressed <laughs> by the current state of comedy and cancel culture. Okay, so they missed the point. Um. 
it's becoming a minefield and I get it. The comedian told the post, I don't like it. I understand it. I just keep doing what I'm doing and it's all you can do right now. It's totally a different world now. And it doesn't mean you don't have to like it. He added with a laugh. Crystal. Okay. So he's being cool about it and you're being a dick about it. Cool. It's, okay. So it's the New York Post. Um, Crystal touches on the theme of changing comedic tastes in his latest flick here today. The movie, the first he's directed in two decades, follows a veteran comedy scribe, Charlie Burns, played by Crystal, who is battling dementia. He unexpectedly meets a singer named Emma Page, Tiffany Haddish, and the two form an unlikely yet touching friendship. The Long Island raised star 73, who also co-wrote the script with Alan... I'm sorry, Alan Zwiebel? Zwiebel? says that he got the idea for the film due to a relative who he was talk taking care of and was battling dementia. She described to me so painfully, I'm losing my words, and she was scared, he said. Despite the movie dealing with such a serious subject, Crystal stretches that aging and Alzheimer's are not the main theme. Instead, he wants people to focus on the sweet relationship between his character and Haddish's, which he thinks is sorely needed today. That's something that we really need more of, the country... And that is empathy, and that's what I think is beautiful, is the beautiful part of this friendship, he said. It gives up a chance for, she gives up a chance for her career to move forward to take care of him, and I think that's a beautiful thing. The entertainer, entertainment all-rounder said that while he's been offered films to direct over the years, nothing felt worth investing two years of his life until here today. Crystal has a career that spans decades, from his start as one of the first gay characters on TV in the comedy Soap to beloved movies including The Princess Bride when Harry met Sally and City Slickers. He even won a Tony for special theatrical event in 20... Won a Tony for special theatrical event in 2005 for his autobiographical one-man show 700 Days. Man, why... Of the common thread running through all of his characters, he said they're human, there is humanity about the characters I play like to play and there's something redeeming about them one of his most iconic roles mike wazowski a one-eyed excitable green hued monster is making a comeback in july a cartoon series monsters at work spawned from monsters inc will start streaming on disney plus i love mike he said he's one of my favorite characters that i've ever played in anything he's fearless he's optimistic he's funny i get to work with john goodman and a bunch of amazing people in the new series which begins on the first day after the last movie ended so we're on the laugh floor and there are new characters mindy calling and henry winkler and others from the first movie um, Crystal, who has four grandchildren, said that the 2001 Pixar flick was the first they truly got excited about. What does this have to do with anything? I don't we know. went on such a tangent. I'm so confused. I, I hate know, the New York but... Post. Uh, they got scared with but... about. Obviously, they could see Harry met Sally. I can't explain Ultimately... why she's screaming in the deli. Ultimately, I think it's just people overreacting to a, a very, like... Because they don't really go into any more of his, like... Is there any more about the statement? Like... No! That's it! I shit you not, it just goes into a tangent about fucking Monsters, Inc. <sighs> okay. Um, first movie, Chris Woods for Grandchildren, and so one day, Frightened by Prize, they got scared, what is this about, and I had to tell them they were able to, nah. obviously, couldn't see Harry Met Sally, I can't explain why she's screaming in a deli, he said, referring to Meg Ryan's famous fake orgasm scene in Cats. They would call the house, asking to speak to Mike, not, Mike, not to me, Mike, the Marza, the nimbly serve as the enemy. Asked if we watched the Trainwreck Award show this year, he slightly asked if their slight applause, were they on? You know, I'd rather talk about here today, he said, but not before adding, it's an interesting time, it's an interesting time. One topic Crystal has no problem parsing in is his beloved Yankees. I love so many of them, he replied, when asked to name his favorite player. Okay, what the fuck does this have to do with anything? Clickbait. Have you ever read an article before? I, d I have. I just fucking hate the New York Post. The New York Post yeah, is just... shit. New this York does Post, feel a lot. more this like does New feel York. Very New York Post, more like New York. Piss. Coast, coast, toast, ghost. Yeah, this does feel very clickbaity. New York ghost. New York ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make the New York ghost, <laughs> and it's just a fucking. It's 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 a spirit. Of like a fucking uh of like a journalist who goes around writing down shit on his ghost notes notepad 
or he like possesses people to write shitty articles. I fucking I hate the New York. Can be voiced by Fagus. <laughs> 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 this is such a good idea. I just, I want to fucking. The New York Post is such fucking garbage. The New York Ghost. New York Ghost? I'm just I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed right now. It's okay, we've come up with the New York Ghost. It's okay, we have a, a new bit. Wait. <laughs> a new. Don't worry, we've got a bit to roll with. This we need to run this by Fagos and ask him if he'd be willing to voice the New York ghost. <laughs> I mean, New York took a Canadian musical. Now we're gonna have a Canadian take a New York thing. I'm Donnie. We know. Where is Fagos? I just felt like saying that. I'm sorry. Fag. My man. It's, I said My it! Dude. I said the phrase, I'm Donnie, so much that it's just become a verbal stim. I just, I don't like most news articles. Not only, <sighs> not only is the one that I most particularly hated filled with fucking grammar mistakes, but that one also had a couple of them. Who uh, from what I can recall of what little that I actually gave a shit to read. Oh, Sarah Dustin. Yes, Nozzy, I agree with you, but personally, I prefer the old York Times. Oh! That's a New Jersey? I always want- okay, but what happened to the other one? Where is the old jersey? Where is it? I've got to know. Where is old Zealand? It technically went down with the rest of the 13 colonies. Oh. It just changed. Okay. Yeah, but then it's not new anymore, is it? Like, it's it's like hundreds of years old. It's not, it's not new jersey anymore. We well, gotta make a- well, technically speaking, it's new in the sense that, like... Right. Well, uh, how, how would you classify new in the grand sense of the world? Cause, well, like... it, it's, it's newer compared to the old Jersey, but, you know, it, it's not new in in general. Like, like if it's, if it's hundreds of years old. Yeah, okay, no, but, but seriously, I'm still in bed. I've been listening to this stream, but hearing what you guys have just said, it made me realize that New Jersey and New York City are the real-life equivalents of the new Super Mario Bros. games. <gasps> Don't say <laughs> that! <laughs> Where they have new in the title, but they're not new anymore. <laughs> uh, what have I done? Also, what because when you, you go to New York, it's the same exact experience as playing new Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> the only Down reason I want to go to New York is because of the Nintendo store. Okay. New York fair. So apparently, to answer uh, Donnie's other question of where is old Zealand, uh, apparently oh. Z... Uh... Apparently, yeah, New Zealand is named after the Dutch ma Dutch mar Maritime Province of Zealand, located just northwest of the Belgian city of Antwerp. Remember when Australia lost the Emu Emu War? <laughs> wait, um, wait a second. <laughs> That's real. Yeah, that's real. You didn't know that was real? I thought that was a joke. No, that's a real thing. That's really. That's there really was an cool. emu war in Australia and they lost. How <laughs> did they lose? I don't fucking know. Have you seen those things? Have you seen the video where they, where they like, where there was like a bag of like some fucking vegetable and they were pecking on it thinking it was real? Have you seen that? No, but I have yes. seen the one where ostriches are apparently scientifically proven to be attracted to humans. I... Yeah, so anyway, 
I said that's my sign to go get breakfast now. I'm the rock. What? I'm Reverse rock. furries. I'm a furry. Skinnies. Probably no. Uh, no. 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 Wait, what? what? <laughs> We're not repeating that. <laughs> what did you what? what did you do? Nothing. Oh, you what? We're not what did you do? saying that again. That was a Freudian slip. <laughs> what? You said reverse furry, then I'll let you fill in the blanks. <laughs> oh! Poppy said skinnies. <laughs> We're not saying that. <laughs> oh, that's cursed. Good lord. I never claims to be smart. <laughs> You're Avi. I am the chicken from Moana. By the way, um, have you seen Moana? I've seen. He hasn't finished it. Speaking, speaking of saying or doing dumb shit, I uh, I sent Keaton a video this morning. Uh. Oh, good. <laughs> And, uh, the response that I got was, uh, don't make me regret this choice, Susie, I swear to god. <laughs> what was Wait, the video? Punching my Azuro, the video- Ladybug. The video was called, No, I'm Just a Whittle Goblin. <laughs> I wonder how obvious it is that I'm a furry. I wanna get a bunch of fucking- There you go. I, I wanna get- a video of Matt Mercer doing an uwu speak and then send that to Heaton. There you go. This is the video I sent Heaton. Hey, Avi, how obvious is it that I'm a furry? I don't know. You talk about it. I do? I mean, you said you're furry. True. I hate this video. Oh my god, I follow this fucking voice actor on Twitter. God damn it, Alex Lee. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Avi. Yeah. I'm very sorry. I'm <laughs> ingesting my own anus right now. Yeah, I said that. I sent that to Heaton, and that's what she responded with. I'm not stuck in wait, here with you. Wait, wait! New here Zealand with is also like New Super Mario Brothers. But like... No, New Zealand is New Super Mario Brothers Wii because it still manages to be fun and delightful. Whereas New Super Mario Brothers you you can just kind of feel your soul being sucked out. See, I don't oh. think I know anyone from New Zealand. I used to know someone from New Zealand. I also no used to know someone from New Zealand, and I think it's the same person. Hey! I I genuinely wonder what he's doing. He's probably out there, like, fucking playing- He's strumming the guitar once, and then hunger is no longer a concept. Why aren't you eating ice cream? I never eat ice cream when I'm having a good day, but you are eating ice cream today. Umbrella's coming to skull girl second encore and bubble bb. You can skull my girls. Wait. <laughs> That's. <gasps> what the Warning. fuck? What the fuck does that mean? Um. Donnie. You know what? Donnie. No, you know what? You know what? I'm just. If you don't know what that means, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna let it, let it be then. Someone just says, Dottie, no! <laughs> and I'm like. <laughs> I just love that phrase, Dottie, no. Yeah. I, lo I, I love the very existence of the phrase, Dottie, no. Oh, that's where Goku is. New Zealand? Yeah. <laughs> New Zealand.
I love Vegeta's stance. He is very good. Oh my god. Have I ever heard- Donnie, have you ever heard of the city Nork? Yo- Nork! No! York! York! Oh my god, I just woke York. up. I- I- I had four hours of sleep, I'm sorry. York, new city. I- that's probably why my brain is fucking dead, it's because I had like less than four hours of sleep. Jesus Christ. Yeah, um... Do what you taught. Come on, clipped it! What the fuck? I got clipped! I'm gonna listen to this shit. Hold on. Oh my god! That got clipped. Also, <clears throat> Nezzy, what are you doing? Uh, I was playing a song in Night in the Woods. Oh, okay. So I just heard a bunch of like rapid button pushes, and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? It's still raining outside. I can hear the raindrops on. On my ceiling. I actually like it when it rains, and it's been raining a lot lately. Oh, yeah! Did you guys hear the good news I recently uh, said? Um, probably not. Oh. Uh, I'm testing the waters with someone. Nice. But we'll see how it goes. Big Mac asks, what does testing the waters mean? As if that wasn't obvious. Uh... Do you, do you really not know what that means? It's kind of self-explanatory. Yeah, yeah, I- I am- I am swimming. Obviously. <clears throat> Clearly. No! No, no! In all seriousness, I might date someone soon, and we're seeing how it works. That's- that's what it means. Thank you for lowering my accuracy, Krogunk. Happy to know that uh, I have exposed a few people to Samantha. Hmm. <laughs> I I have exposed a few people to Samantha. It's such a good bit. 
It is such a good bit. <laughs> now, um, to everyone watching the stream who doesn't know what I'm talking about, um, there's a subreddit called r slash nice girls. And yes, there is a nice guys variant where, um, it's it's basically girls that think they're entitled to have a boyfriend or sex. And uh There was this one girl in the first episode of Sora TV's series of R slash Nice Girls video where um basically uh there's this dating app and this guy matched with more than one person and uh he didn't plan for that to happen. And this girl named Samantha goes, um, I wouldn't say crazy, but <laughs> uh, she's not, not crazy. crazy. <laughs> she gets, uh, she keeps saying stuff like, Oh, I'm definitely prettier than her. And, oh, you'll regret it. And then uh, it ends. It it takes a while to end. Because, like, he's, like... Because, like, Star TV is, like, switching back and forth between other r slash nice girls posts and the Samantha bit. And... It ends with Samantha saying, By the way, I'll never stop messaging you. And the guy just... It's done and goes, uh, too bad I can delete this app. Bye, Samantha. And she goes, No, I am not done talking. So you just stop being a dickhole. Oh, that that's Samantha. And yeah. So and that, I that remember because into... Sorrow TV read it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm referencing. So yeah, um, and that that comes back in other other readings. Not that specific individual, but someone who has very similar, um... Reactions? Yeah. So he'll call them Samantha, and it is, it is, it is my favorite fucking bit from Sorrow TV. Do you, do you hear that? It's some of my Samantha! <laughs> and just burst out <laughs> laughing, the bit was so fucking... He couldn't even take I... no bit seriously, so he just starts giggling. It is my favorite Sorrow TV bit. Just Samantha. Samantha! Samantha is now a cursed name to me because of that. So if I- I feel like if I made a villain, uh, girl character, I named her Samantha! <laughs> yeah, I don't- I don't use the phrase insane. But, um, I will say uh, that that particular Samantha is, uh, not okay. <laughs> Umbris, Donnie, remember when we were watching Marco Plays try not to laugh in the baseball video? Yes, the, the fucking video that, um, Umbris and I lost it at the most was there's this guy who hit a home run in baseball and the fucking the fucking announcer narrator whatever goes this ball is long gone just like the ex-girlfriend who will never return home run <laughs> and i'm just like is that guy okay <laughs> Oh yeah, and it killed like other people like called too. I remember when we tried to do the what was it, the try not to laugh challenge. Dude, try there is nothing more thrilling than trying to do that challenge when you're not sober. <laughs> It is so much harder. Also, someone clipped me. Uh-oh.
Thank you for clipping that. Just thank you. I have the hiccups. Are you nervous? No. I only get the hiccups Wait. when I'm nervous. Wait. No, I had one hiccup. Here's the thing. Whenever I have the hiccups, uh, you'll know. <laughs> because yep. I get the hiccups when I'm nervous. And they are very loud. When I get nervous, I get heart palpitations. <laughs> it's funny. I'll replace your heart. With what? My heart. Wait! I don't Wait. think... <laughs> what if well, there's a heart transplant and like we'll, we switch hearts so that we'll I get your heart life, complications? We'll do a real life heart transplant just like instantly. Yeah. Well, yeah, we'll just go like we touch, swoosh. We touch our fingernails and like, like, like yes. we touch the fingernails of our index fingers and somehow the heart gets transplanted through that. Okay. I just heard we touch and I was like, please... No, I just. I know, but I. Just... <laughs> My brain auto corrected. That's that's on me. I didn't want to. I didn't want to say anything explicit because that'd be wrong. I mean, neither are incorrect. They have not been proven wrong. I'm very, very tired. Holy shit. Uh... <coughs> I need to get just some just some flour next time because this is too strong and now I'm immune to it. Why a flower? Oh, you're um, talking about weed! Yeah. Wait, Ow. why is it called flower? Like Because they... it's a plant. Wait, how does... Wait, you, you... Wait, fla... What? It is literally a plant. Yeah, but like, how do you... Do you like eat a flower? Don Donnie, you you smoke it. Yeah, but like, are you taking like the actual plant and setting it on fire? Like, what are you yeah. doing? Yeah. What? Yes. What did you think it was? <laughs> I I thought it was edibles. No. Um. I'll 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 give you a rundown when we're not streaming. Got it. Okay, so at stage five is where I want to go. Sometimes it's hard to know which way you're supposed to go. Go. Avi, you were there for when I was talking about how. Yes, um... it is Christian rock. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait. Donnie, were you Donnie, were you there for that conversation? What conversation? Oh no. So I I was making a point in call that the further down you go into uh the anime Pokemon themes, the more it sounds like Christian rock. Donnie, you can pull out there's still time. <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, uh, the point is is that she's not wrong. It does sound exactly like fucking Christian rock. It's not Jewish rock because Jewish rock is like more reggae, but goddamn, that is some Christian rock. I listened yeah, to Christian so, rock when I was like five. 
Yeah, so, um, if you just go down and listen to the Pokemon themes, like the anime themes, um, it just, it, 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 it progressively becomes closer, or it progressively gets closer and closer to sounding like it'll mention God at any moment. I know we can do it. We will find a way. We've come so far. Come you ever so have, have a grudge against a specific Pokemon and you're not even sure why you do? Uh, yes, it's Ice Q. I hate Ice Q with every fiber of my being. For me, it's Goldeen and Sea King. Man, I fucking hate Ice Q. I wish it never existed. Why do you hate Ice Q? What did Ice Have Q you... ever do to you? I fought an Ice Q in Pokemon Showdown one too many times. Why? I thought that was P. I thought that was ZU. No, they just Dynamax and then use Hail, and then you can't hurt it anymore. You can probably kill it with special attacks, but. I usually just I get very bad luck with the Pokemon that I get randomized. I wonder if I could get away with playing the Pokemon uh, English themes on stream. I wouldn't recommend it. Just wondering if I could get away with it. You probably could. Mm -hmm. Just don't push your luck. You, um, they can be weird about it sometimes. I know, that's why I'm, I mean, I'm not going to do it. I'm just wondering if I could. Because, like, if I could, I would, I would show stream exactly what I mean. But, like, if I can't, then I can't. What the fuck? Oh, my God too early for this what's the matter i just saw something and plug it in twitter why is it raining both in pokemon and like th this area doesn't always rain and it's raining both in pokemon and in real life what the fuck maybe they are telling you something <laughs> maybe it's the way that you're dressed <laughs> wumbo what Dude, game? You think what, about that. What game are y'all playing? None. Well, I'm I'm playing Pokemon Y myself, but uh, Doodle is drawing. I'm playing Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle because I hate myself. Oh, did we have oh. enough room for Crimson to be in here? Yeah. I thought I thought there was a I thought there was already a fifth person in here. Who? A ghost? Yeah, the, just... the New York ghost? Oh, <laughs> Sarah! <laughs> Sarah! No. I thought because Sarah was in here briefly. Yeah. Well, no, nah, the, the New York ghost that's, was in that's here. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking Sarah. Okay, but what about the New York ghost? Is he is he a part of us? Is he with us? Is he blessed us with his presence? No, Fe Fegos Fegos isn't, isn't here. In this chat. Yeah, Fegos isn't in this chat. No. Oh. Not without trying though. He definitely tried to get in. This poll was just kind of ignored. Oh. <clears throat> anyway, Crimson, how are you? I'm... I'm good. That's good. I'm a... So I assume you did not stream this morning. I'm streaming right now. I'm still streaming. Oh. Good. Let me back and crash it. Let me back and do what I always do and crash your streams. Don't crash her computer, please. No, Doodle knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, where he comes in and at, 
where he comes in and starts asking people if he should make No, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not. Yeah, no, and I'm then not, I'm he not. starts going on, like, about femboy fishing. I do not talk about femboy fishing. You, you just said it. Oh my god, this is, this is the second time I've heard that name in the past <laughs> month. What the fuck? <laughs> And were they, they did both I, from me? Can I go fishing? No. fishing? No, the f this is the first time I've heard it from you. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I just want to go femboy fishing. Uh, femboy Jesus fishing Christ. is when femboys go out and fish. Yes, exactly. I'm. A I want to go out and fish. I like fishing. I unironically like fishing. IRL. I want to go fishing. I need it. I need to renew my fishing license. <laughs> I want to go femboy fishing. Please take me femboy fishing. You hear me, guys? Donnie. Oh. Donnie, I I don't think <laughs> you don't know. I I don't think you know which femboy we're talking about. I want to go femboy <coughs> fishing. I'll take you fishing, bro. Please take me no. fishing. God, uh -oh. Nezzy, I fucking love your icon. It's beautiful. Oh, um, Dra Dragonite, no, it, it, it's not about being no fun. I just came here to crash to part, crash to, well, let's just say party. Let's say friends. you're being no fun. This no, party's getting always... crazy. Let's rock. It doesn't, Dude, it literally doesn't... crashing a party is being not fun. Do you okay, know I... I, I, I misconfuse words, but I, no. I, 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 I confuse some words. But... I, um... <laughs> I'm dying, sorry. Oh, I'm but, sorry. Uh, I remember there was a line in the first episode of New Vestroya that was always very garbled, where Mira says, I don't need an invitation to crash your party. But I always heard it as, I don't need an invitation to your bachelor party. And I'm like, oh, they're getting married. It's really, <laughs> nice to see LG it's really nice to see Link and Vol being the first LGBT couple in Bakugan. I'm sure Johnny is- No! I'm not. I- 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 I'm just very- I have less than four hours of sleep. I have- He also has less than 40% of self-control at the ready. What do you mean? Femboy fishing. Femboy fishing. I want to go fishing! <laughs> then I'll you take mean... you fishing. <laughs> I didn't even knew Donnie liked fishing. <laughs> Hmm. I love fishing. Excuse me. I like fishing. Oh no! Yeah, I never thought of you as the fishing type. To be honest. What do you mean you're not? I'm a furry. I. Um, I don't. Oh, okay. I just... don't know how to respond to this. It's okay. Oh. Uh... Hmm. Wait. There's actually a fishing, yeah, you know, I believe it. There's pretty much a sports anime, there's a soccer anime, the, the basketball one. Where's Rock Smash? The first, yeah, the first time I heard of Femboy Fishing, uh, it was talking about a, a YouTube channel that's called Femboy Fishing. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. The, the, wait, are you serious? Wait, 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 I, I, I completely zoned out. What'd you say? Is this, okay, For, there's, a, there's a YouTube channel called Femboy Fishing. Also, Doodles, can we please fill in the blanks of who is who in this image? Except I know Emil is just Donnie in most cases. What do you mean Emil is Donnie? There's a there's a no mic. <laughs> <laughs> Who's who? Mm. No, why not? <laughs> Who's who is who is Masay in this image? Oh wait, oh yeah, I'm I oh you mean Sugar Conroy. Of course I'm Emil. I'm always Emil. I am <laughs> Who, who I almost said I kidnapped a meal, but that'd probably be bad. Yeah, for for anyone who's you know watching the stream, this is the image in question. Dude, I, I you know what I was about to say. If you said to him, "I can, I I can you," he would say, "I can me too." <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, I mean, I don't know. Every time I watch a Chugger Con right video. Sometimes he says something that's along the lines of, I, I sometimes think, that sounds like something I'd say, like, I feel yeah. like, <laughs> see, here's the thing, I've been wanting to make Let's Plays for, like, years. 
can do it. But I'm very terrified of being a ripoff of Chugger Con, right? I mean, Donnie. Yes. If 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 wouldn't that make Chugger Conroy just a ripoff of Proton John? Oh. You're fine. Put it this way. Uh I mean even if you were a ripoff of Chugger Conroy, everyone's gotta start somewhere. Yeah. You you'd be a real let's player. Like, what was it? Jacksepticeye for a while was just called the Irish, uh, what was it? Irish Markiplier? Right? When he started out? Wasn't he told that he was ripping off PewDiePie to a certain extent? Oh, was it PewDiePie? Because I know he was, I, I know he started his, 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 uh, his career, like, being called the ripoff of one of the other big ones. I thought it was I mean, Markiplier. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, every Let's Player was accused of ripping off PewDiePie. I know Uber Hex or Nova was. Regardless, everyone's gotta start somewhere, and even if you do get called a ripoff, uh, oh well. You just continue on, and, uh, you'll eventually evolve into your own style. And then when someone calls you a ripoff, you can just be like, but what about this? And then present your evidence, and then they will fade away into the eternal abyss. Oh, I'll be a real commentator. Yeah, I'm not a real commentator yet, but I'm getting there. I got a rocky helmet. Nice. I have so many questions about how being a furry and fishing have anything to do with each other. What the fuck? Animals? Hello? I thought everyone liked fishing. I really don't. <laughs> I've never liked fishing. What the fuck, Doodle? <laughs> How could you not like fishing? You get to touch fish. I hate touching fish. What? D Donnie, I'm renitophobic. Oh, I don't are? really like touching reptilian anything. Fish are pretty close to reptiles. I don't like touching anything like that. Oh. I didn't know you were afraid of reptiles. I oh. literally put in the chat, can you guys like not put, can you put spoilers on the pictures of frogs? I mean... Oh yeah. They, oh, they, I, they I, I, I'll earlier. certainly respect that because like, you know, um, you shouldn't, no one should be made fun of for just being afraid of something. I just... Dang. No snake. I like uh, snakes. Okay. I just don't like touching them. Oh, okay. I don't really it... like anything with scales. <clears throat> I will eat fish. Big Mac. Yeah, I was about to say, hold on. Big Mac, your question is kind of... I feel like your question is kind of built on a slippery slope. I don't like fishing. But that doesn't mean I don't like eating fish. I just don't like fishing. Like, if if you were to sit me in a if you were to sit me in a boat, give me a fishing rod, and you know, told me to to catch a fish, I would not have fun doing it. I don't particularly find it very enjoyable. I don't find it to be a very fun pastime because you're just kind of sitting there waiting for long periods of time uh, for something that just might not even happen. That's kind of a major assumption. I mean, I like eating meat, but I don't like hunting. Yeah, exactly. That too. I just See, I find fishing to I be like how, I like boring. I have, I have been fishing. I have been fishing since I was like five years old. That's I, I don't. I just don't and like fishing. So I'm just like really used to it. So like I. Even my mother is like afraid to touch a fish, and I'm like so used to it that like I'm not afraid of touching fish or anything like that. I'll I'll pick up fish. I I used to pick up fish when I was a kid, hmm. and I um and you know I have <coughs> been the one to have to take the hook off a fish before. Like I'm. Oh yeah. I'm perfectly willing to do that. 
So like, when, so like, I'm not used to the fact, oh hey, that's not a normal thing that like, just most people would want to do. I mean, it's not that it's not a normal thing, it's just something that we don't like to do. Yeah. Right. So, I like, like if there's nothing like but... normal or enormal about fishing, it's just a another activity. Yeah. Yeah. That's something that I used that I um have thought about a lot, which is just like not really uh thinking about like what people do normally because like whatever your own like perception of your life is is basically just normal <clears throat> that's just what normal is it's just that people just happen to line up with that sometimes i like fishing i have only really good memories fishing um except vomiting off the side of a boat but that's whatever i do that all the time um Why? fucking it's Hi. just it's fun to like i i don't know i i, I think like just this the casting and then just sitting something about I, it is just really relaxing i just i i don't like the ocean i have that's a fear fair. of the ocean and i am also a germaphobe there's, with my hands there's also there's here's the other thing about me um you i live in i live in northern michigan and people from northern michigan tend to be very nature based because like there's a lot of places where you can have easy access to all things nature like a lot of a lot of people in northern michigan are into like hunting or fishing or whatever because it's so easy to have access to that stuff so you know then there's me who lives right next to a state park that has a pond that has plenty of fish where you can go fishing at. And, you know, and I've lived in Northern Michigan for most of my life. And like a lot of people here just happen to like, you know, stuff like that. So that's probably where me being a furry and me being into animals so much comes from is having you know, is being exposed to a lot of stuff involving nature when I was a child. I just like sushi. <laughs> I just I just like eating <laughs> fish. I oh yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of with you on that one, Crimson. <laughs> but yeah. Um... Oh, if if the if the one if the one that stutters. Willow. Yeah, what? yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. he was talking about the, the character I'm working on. Uh-huh. Um... But yeah, no, I just... I mean... I don't know, as far as, as far as nature activities, just in general, I don't think I've... I don't... recall ever being super into, like, nature activities, just in general. Then again, I was in Cub Scouts, so... Maybe I'm just misremembering. So, mm. uh, I, I was never a fucking, what is it? I, I was never an outdoors dude until um I was forcibly converted to outdoors by Rabbi Shalem, um, and after hibernating in my cave for thirty six thousand years, I now wish to play basketball. Um, I, I've, I've been sitting down for so long that I'm just so fucking antsy, and anytime Saturday rolls around, I'll just, like, ride around La Jolla on a skateboard, or I'll just fucking, um, go with my cousins now to just, like, the, to, to our tennis court and just play volleyball, not volleyball, uh, basketball. We're playing volleyball on Sunday, and I'm very excited, but, um... I fucking love snowboarding. I really like snowboarding. And well, I didn't I think like I'd like it. Fucking Actually, what I like is uh, 
Have you have you ever been tubing? I have not been tubing. 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 Okay. I have. Uh, I haven't been tubing since I was like a really, really, really young kid. Um. But I okay. I do actually recall the smallest scribble. The the. Well, I don't know if I was the smallest scribble. Uh. But like there, th we used to. We used to go tubing, uh, not every winter, but like every other winter when I was a kid. Um, and just kind of being in like, what is a set, what is effectively a car tire going down, uh, going down a hill. Uh, it, it's so, there's some, there's a little something relaxing about that. <laughs> There, it, there's just a thrill to it. it. It's it's like going down a, a big slide in a water park. It, or it, up it's... a really tall oh, ladder. You're talking. Oh, you're talking water park. See, that's not what I'm talking. I'm talking about. Like, uh, no, 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 I'm no, no, no. He was he's... saying that it's like that. Oh. Yeah. Because I was like, tubing is something that is like for for me. It was like, oh yeah, you're you're tubing down like a, a snowy hill as if you were sliding, but you're doing it yeah. in a giant inner tube, and it's a lot. Yeah, of fun. I, I've done that. I've done that. <laughs> but it yeah, it's it, it, it's a similar it's... thrill to going down a water slide, is what I'm saying. Oh okay. But yeah, it's weird that... because at water parks we use tubes. Like, we yeah. use like the the donuts. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's there's a place to do that here in Colorado, so we used to go every other winter or so. I mean, there's a, there's a place in France. Oh my god, Nezzy, please. <laughs> you can't keep doing this. Wait, 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 wait what, what happened to that place in France? Do, do the naked ladies dance? Yeah, there's also a hole in the wall. Um, how clean is it? I don't know how else how, how, how it. clean is it? <laughs> pretty dirty. It's a free-for-all oh, over there. <laughs> this is revenge for the puns on the last stream. <laughs> I don't get it. I just want to know how long it'll take to break Doodle. <laughs> Wait. I'm what happened? Loves... It's, it's from a song. It's... Listen. Here's the thing, Don Fellow. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, you, you want to know... that? Fishing. You want, you want to know something, Avi? I do. You're like the first person to call me Donovan, and now that's become like a widespread nickname for me. <laughs> nice. Is <laughs> was it? Like, I, there's, I was. There's even a couple people who, by default, call me Donovan. What was it? I I was playing Spectre Knight. Um. And then while I was playing, I, while I was playing Spectre Knight, for the first time, either like something positive happened between you and me, and then I was like, because the main character's name's Donovan, I was like, yes, this is his name now, and then I just started calling you Donovan. You are too late, Donatello. I have already constructed the tax evasion apple. And once consumed, the paperwork will be sent within 14 business days by my mediocre secretary. Bro, what the hell? <laughs> what do you need all that money for, Virgil? It doesn't make any sense. You would not understand. Thousands of dollars are stolen from me to build roads and orphanages. How else can decent men gatekeep build a bear workshop? Though we are brothers, Dante, you call me by the wrong name. My name now is Jeff Beza. <laughs> Please watch Max. He's very funny. I like. I like this moment already. I want to go to it's, build a bear. It's fucking delicious. I'm thinking wait. about it now. <laughs> oh, wait, what part is it? I thought. 
Avi, can you but... take me to build a bear? Sure, man. Um, <laughs> I just have to get, get there. Man, I miss build a bear, Bill. Also, I just realized now that my hair is like the color that it is, it's like the in between stage <laughs> between normal V and double trigger V. So I can just get a bunch of fake tattoos and just do the cosplay. And I'm about to end stream, so. Okay. Because uh, I have been streaming uh, for a couple hours and I completely lost track of time. Anyway. Alright, well, end the stream with this.